What's up everybody? Welcome back to the OG family. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel only if you want to. But look, my beautiful people, we got this most mysterious finds scientists can't explain. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, let's get this video right here to like 5,000 likes. Let me know something that y'all want to see in this genre. You know what I'm saying? I want to start doing more of these because, man, it's, it's yeah, yeah, fucking interesting. You feel me? But look, man, hopefully everybody's having a really, really, really good day. You know, because honestly, I am, man. It's been nothing but good energy over here, and hopefully, um, you know, whatever. Uh, huh. Alright, let's get into this video without further ado. An archaeologist has discovered a tiny mummy, and these Egyptian sarcophaguses are gonna be open for the first time in 2,500 years. From giant animals to unique discoveries that science still can't explain. Oh, Don't forget crazy. to subscribe and hit the bell. May it bring you lots of luck. Remember the silence from Doctor Who? Now look at this. These skulls were found by archaeologists in the Caucasus. They were found in a chest on which there was the emblem of a German occult organization known as Anna Nerva. The organization existed in the 1940s, and its purpose was to search for mystical relics. Judging by the shapes of the skulls, the beings to whom these remains belonged were definitely horned and walked on two legs. They also lacked mouths, having instead small holes on the sides of their heads. Who Look, no wonder why they did, bro, because you ain't got no mouth, you got holes on the side of your shit? Like, how's you eating just smashing stuff through the holes? Bro, that's not a life to live, bro, and your, eyeball, your eyeballs are too big. God really messed that one up right there. He was he was trying to create something, and you know, that's, that's Who these here. skulls belong to and exactly what the Ananerba were looking for in the Caucasus remains a mystery to scientists. Crazy. A cave containing 17 tiny coffins was accidentally discovered in Scotland. Each was less than 10 centimeters long. They could easily fit in the palm of your hand. They were nailed down with boot nails, and inside each coffin was a carved male figurine wearing sewn clothes. Because that's not creepy at all, people. That's just, you know, that's not creepy. Some figurines were missing one or both arms. Who made them and why is still not clear. Perhaps they were part of a magical ritual like voodoo dolls. Thai archaeologists found the bones of a huge animal a few kilometers from Bangkok. The head alone measured three meters long, and the entire skeleton was 12 meters long. Damn. Scientists have already managed to extract 80% of the skeleton and assume that these are the remains of a British whale, which oh. lived about 5,000 years ago. This discovery may serve as proof that a few thousand years ago, part of Southeast Asia was completely covered with water. The next Lara Croft-level discovery was made in Egypt. In 2019, archaeologists discovered 30 wooden sarcophaguses with mummies in them, which had simply been buried at al Asif Cemetery 3,000 years ago, but mm. they were preserved in excellent condition. The coffins lay one on top of the other several layers deep and were discovered quite by accident. Hey, y'all see those other, uh... Sarcophagus that were uh, discovered and the people were going down there and they were all just dying and they thought it was a curse But really it was this fungus that was in them and these people ain't got no mask no nothing like that's crazy as hell Like after that happened y'all still open these damn things up like that I'm a nerd bro. I like stuff like this. So like that's how I know that stuff It had become me. the largest discovery in Egypt in the past century until 2020, when archaeologists found another secret burial with 59 sarcophaguses. Wow. Scientists have discovered chambers in the ancient necropolis of Saqqara at depths of 10, 11, and 12 meters, completely filled with intact sarcophaguses. All the mummies have been preserved in perfect condition, despite the fact that they are over 2,600 years old. On wow. the sarcophaguses themselves, there still remained paint and wax, which had originally been rubbed on to make them shine. That's Scientists dope. have not yet been able to establish the identity of these tombs. An ancient burial ground was found in Ukraine, which, without words, told an amazing love story. The skeletons of a man and woman embracing each other were removed from the grave after having been buried for over 3,000 years. What exactly happened to them will forever remain a mystery to scientists. Look, hey, she was down for him for whatever it was, though. Hey, yo, that's, that's the definition of a down chick right there. Boy, she died with him, you feel me? Holding on to him. 
This small mummy found in the Chilean Atacama Desert has haunted scientists around the world for almost 20 years. The, the skeleton is only 15 centimeters long, it and its unusually real. elongated skull suggests alien origins. But DNA analysis has shown that this was indeed a human, but scientists still can't explain the anomaly of its appearance. Where y'all think we came from, though? Where the DNA came from and stuff like that? That's pro humanoid. You know, have whatever, whatever. 2020, during excavations of an Egyptian tomb near Aswan, archaeologists we'll get discovered the body of a crocodile in the sand. At first, they didn't think much about the discovery, but further excavation showed that this was a mass grave of 11 mummified crocodiles. They had lain in the sand for about 2,500 years. Damn. The purpose behind burying these reptiles has remained a mystery for scientists. There was probably water Egypt, there once. There had already been discoveries of several mummified crocodiles, which had pieces of beef in their stomachs. Archaeologists believe that crocodile mummies could have been sacrificed to Sobek, the Egyptian god with the head of a crocodile. It's a good thing we don't live alongside dinosaurs, but maybe that wasn't always the case. As evidenced by some mysterious ceramic figurines found near the Mexican city of Acambaro in 1944. These 33,000 figurines were made some 5,000 years ago, but the most stunning part about them is that most of them depict dinosaurs. No one's supposed to have known about dinosaurs at that time, because their existence wasn't discovered until the 19th century. But hey man, do y'all believe all that stuff that they be saying these scientists like, oh yeah, this was back in this day. I think that they're absolutely wrong on these uh, time spans when stuff did exist. I don't think it's I don't think the information is accurate man because what measuring stick do they have to like prove that all these things are true is I don't think these things are a fact it's just an opinion so I think that we just should shut the hell up until somebody comes back from the past time and tell us something but that's not gonna happen because we don't know that to be true either but whatever just speculation but some of the figures resemble UFOs too so maybe that's the key yeah in 2007, builders dug up a strange skull in Denmark. At first, it was mistaken for the skull of a horse, Okay. but then it turned out to look more like that of a human. When scientists examined the skull, they, they were up. surprised, because the remains didn't belong to any creature known to science, even though they were no more than 800 years old. While scientists are trying to figure out who the skull belongs to, an artist has rendered an interpretation of what the creature would look like. Wait, I know whose skull it is. <laughs> <laughs> now, check out this mummy. Do you expect the mummy of this man who lived in South America in the 17th century to have two heads? The mummy is also known for its gigantic what? stature, in which reaches 3.5 meters tall. Presumably, this is a mummy of Siamese twins with gigantism, a disease that causes a person to grow abnormally tall. Bro, they were almost 12 foot with two damn heads, bro. Do y'all think, bro, that should look real. That'd be... That look real, and that, that that's crazy, bro. Two-headed aliens trying to kidnap us, one or the other. Tell me something we don't know. Yeah, tell me something we don't know. <laughs> During road repairs in downtown Huyuan, China, workers found 43 fossilized eggs. It turned out that they had been lying in the ground for 70 million years. 19 of the eggs were still in excellent condition. Some were up to 13 centimeters in diameter. They're gonna be trying Scientists to... believe that these eggs belong to an unknown dinosaur species. Hopefully, their mom isn't swimming around nearby. Right. They're gonna try to bring them sis back. Harry Watch. Potter found the resurrection stone inside the snitch, but British student Aaron Smith was even luckier. While walking along the beach, he found a mysterious rock slightly smaller than a soccer ball. When the students split it in two, inside was a fossil of a very rare marine mollusk that lived on Earth 185 million years ago. And on the outside, it was covered with golden pyrite, which meant it could be polished to become golden. Archaeologists often find mummies of cats in Egypt, but this 2,500-year-old find was given an MRI test, and the results were shocking. It turned out that inside the cat mummy were five hind legs, three tails, zero ribs, and instead of a head, a ball of wool. Oh, hell no. Nah. Right in the comments. Hell no. Nah. Like, the Egyptian... it, 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 it probably had to be, bro. With that, with that one right there, it probably had to be a couple of cats put in there and then they did other shit with their body parts and stuff. I I doubt it. Oh my gosh. Luxor, archaeologists found the it. oldest prosthesis in history. 
A prosthetic big toe made of wood and leather was found on the leg of a mummy of a woman buried in 950 BC. The quality of the work is simply amazing considering the level of medicine at that time. Wow. Scientists in France have found a dinosaur thigh bone whose gigantic size is quite impressive. It's two meters long, which is taller than the average man, and it weighs 500 kilograms. Yeah, wow. that's two Harley Davidsons with Mickey Rourke and his girlfriend on them. Scientists were very surprised at the bone's excellent condition, and there were even still traces of tendon on it. They can only assume that the bone belonged to the largest class of dinosaurs, the sauropods, which reached 20 meters in height. The inhabitants of a Chinese village have discovered the remains of a dragon. That's the cat. skeleton is 18 meters long and cat. shaped like a very large snake with a horned dragon head. Scientists have not commented on this discovery, but according to the internet, it's a fake. I just hope it isn't found really? from the you know what I'm story. If Titan of uh, uh, that's cat. Bravos from again. Game of Thrones wants to play soccer, then Bosnia and Herzegovina has the right ball for him. That's where archaeologists discovered in a forest a giant ball of basalt and iron weighing 37 tons and measuring 3 meters across. Damn. Look at the size of it compared to this girl. There are still many similar but smaller balls in this forest. Geologists believe that small rocks attracted solid particles until they grew into enormous balls. But other experts are certain that these huge... I mean, that's what happened to balls, you know? Stone sculptures were created by an unknown ancient Balkan civilization. If these stone giants from The Hobbit need cookware, then welcome to the Valley of the Pitchers in Laos. After all, thousands of huge stone pitchers were found here, which are three meters tall and weigh six tons. Damn. Scientists still have no idea how the containers ended up here and what they were used for. The most popular theories claim that these pitchers were used to collect rainwater or as a crematorium. This footage from a cave in Thailand has become world famous. The internet has been abuzz with the discovery of a giant six meter skeleton entwined with the skeleton of an unknown creature resembling a large snake. Oh, that's, it turned that's out not to just real. be an art exhibit by a Taiwanese <laughs> artist named Tu Wei Chang. Okay. The skeleton itself is made of plastic. Nevertheless, archaeologists continue to find skeletons of giant people around the world, and science cannot yet explain their origins. Yeah, don't say this is real though. Well, that's all for today. Right in the that one with that one with the shit wrapped around him or whatever. That's definitely uh, you know what I'm saying. That was definitely cat. But the other skulls of them big uh giant humans, bro. Like, do y'all think? See, you know, some people are limited thinkers. Anything is possible, man. We're here. Do y'all think that these things really walk the earth? Were well, these creatures, these humanoids, these people, aliens, whatever, walk the earth? Do y'all believe in aliens? Do y'all believe in ghosts? Do y'all believe in, you know, like, <laughs> mythical creatures? Like, what do you believe in? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, you know what I'm saying? This is a fun conversation to have. This is not meant to be going to war in the comments about people can express themselves, man. But at the end of the day, man, let me know what y'all want to see next. And like I always say, man, spread love because there's too much hate in this world. Love you guys. See you in the next video. And I'm out, though. Block.